another look at this vault. Just as you say, Ollie, the amplitude coming off the table is spectacular. She absorbs in the repulsion phase where the gymnast puts their hands on the table and that shoots her right up into the air. The twist looks just effortless, really. And she's able to open out her arms very early and go for a good landing. What a nice technical piece of gymnastics there from Emma Poato. Fundamentally really sound. That's really the word, technical. She trains alongside Benedetta Gava, who we'll be seeing in this final as well. 13 and a half, well done to her. That's up from qualification by almost a tenth. Now this we expect to be uh, the same vault but without that additional half twist. And this is the example of how the vaults are from the same family. Second vault for Puato. Once again, Yurchenko entry, round off onto the board. Just a full twist this time, but a better landing. Well, that really is lovely stuff to get things underway from Emma Puato. So secure. Let's enjoy this again. And what a confidence builder to go out and perform two vaults like that, starting out the competition. Yes, it's an interesting trade-off, isn't it? She loses the four tenths of difficulty for the additional half twist. But as you say, the landing had a tightness to it. It did. And the body position in the air as well is just really solid. The judges will be looking to make sure that she maintains that layout all the way through. And she really does. As for the hop on the landing, it's very slight. She will probably lose only a tenth of a point. One imagines there won't be much between the two scores. That's really interesting. 13.4, the average. She's up from qualification. 13.3 for the second vault.